Hi there, I'm Johnny Lieberman with Motor Trend and I am driving the all new Karma Rivero GT. This is a plug-in hybrid vehicle. That means it's got a battery and an electric motor as well as a gasoline engine. This particular engine is a 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder when combined with a big traction motor, puts out 536 horsepower and 550 pound feet of torque. Much more important than that though, is the design. The Rivero is gorgeous. It's one of the best sedan designs of all time. We're living in this age, we're on the cusp of something new. Soon all cars, they're gonna drive themselves, they're gonna be fully electric, they're gonna have more horsepower than you could ever need. So once all cars have those attributes, what's gonna separate them? I say it's design. With that in mind, I'm headed to Karma's headquarters right here in Irvine, California, to talk about not just the Rivero GT, but what they have planned for an encore. Right, so we've got the car under the design lights here at Karma HQ, and now I'm gonna introduce you to a person who knows more about this thing than, well, basically anybody. This is Dave Strader to tell us all about the Rivero GT. Hi, Johnny. Thanks for visiting us today at Karma Automotive. What we have here is a 2020 Rivero GT. Uh, I always like to point out the car is primarily an electric car. Right. And this is the charge port for the car. It does level one, level two, and level three charging. Level three is, is the fastest DC to DC fast charging. And that's why there's two different plugs. Correct. So level three, you can charge a car in about 25 minutes. The interior of the car is designed to be very clean. There are not a lot of buttons. It's not cluttered. This car has three different drive modes. It has stealth, which is pure EV, sustain, which is basically sustain. I can drive along and sustain the state of charge of the high voltage battery. And then sport means go as fast as you can. And you can change those with one of the paddle shifters, yeah? Correct. And then the other paddle shifter uh, changes the regen braking. And so you can select between regen one, regen two, and regen three. And that means at the highest level, you can kind of drive the car with one foot. You don't really have to get on the brake pedal as much. Exactly. So this car is equipped with advanced driver assistance systems. So there's a radar sensor in the front, some cameras, cameras in the windshield. So it has automatic emergency braking, has lane keeping assist, as well as the adaptive cruise control. It also features surround view camera system, so you can get a 360 degree view of the car as you're driving. Cool, and then this car also is connected to the cloud in some way? Yeah, all of our cars, the first generation and the second generation car are connected to the cloud 24 seven, and we can see events like low tire pressure or a low washer solvent, all the way up to events where, you know, say a customer might lose propulsion in the car. Right, so you'll know if they're stuck and you gotta go get them or something like that. Exactly, typically we would dispatch roadside assistance to the car and ask them if they needed Uber to complete their trip. Oh, cool, well, very cool. Hey, listen, Dave, thanks so much for taking the time to show us the Rivero GT. So Andre, tell me, in design speak, why do I like the way the Rivero GT looks so much? What is it about that car? It's definitely a presence that catches you, right? And you create passion by extreme proportions, right? stance, low center of gravity, the whole car being low, and then also exaggerated proportions like the fender flares, you know, right. the long hood, right, dash right, to axle. Right. Those are the things that for us, we want to cultivate because we love those proportions. And we do know that car people love those proportions. Right, so long, low, and wide. Yes, yes, classic. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So this car, this is the Karma GT, but this one actually wasn't done by you guys. It actually went to another country to design this car. Yes, uh, this one actually for us was a showcase what others could do with our great platform, right? So we went to Italy and we gave it to Pininfarina sure. and, and basically gave it as a blank slate and said like, oh, nuts with that. Did you, did you say like, you know, these are karma brand values, like, you know, it has to have this look or it has to have this grill or anything? Yeah, so what we said is, you know, karma is all about craftsmanship, right. attention to detail, sophistication of the surface. And, and presence of the car. The, uh, the thing I really want to talk about, though, is, is the SC2. And I mean, you know, it, it's a knockout. Uh, could, you, could, you, could you talk me through this car? Yeah, I mean, this is a dream project for every designer, right? Sure. Incredible yeah. proportions, amazing technology, right? And for us, this is, a, is basically showcasing our future design language. You know, with electrification sure. and modern technology, we definitely wanted to make a statement in terms of design. 
And this is a testament to, you know, lifestyle luxury. So it's interesting you said electrification. So, you know, I feel that, you know, coming soon, cars are, you know, they're going to drive themselves. They're, you know, they're all going to be electric and have a billion horsepower. So if you want to get someone to buy your car instead of another car, it's design, right? That, that ha that's what's going to differentiate them because the technology is going to be so similar. Absolutely. For us, you know, the key differentiator of design is one of our brand pillars, right? So we really pride ourselves that we are a design-driven company and we believe that the Rivero GT was mainly bought not just for its amazing technology, but also for its aesthetics. It looked really good, yeah. It's a car that catches your breath every time when you see it coming down the road, right? All right, so ask you a, sort of a tough question here, but you know, because the car's electric, uh, and because there isn't a big V12 under that hood, you could have made it look like anything. Like this, this is a classic shape for you know, a big engine in front of the driver, rear wheel drive. Why, why do that? Why not you know, put the cab in here? You know, like, I, and just, why right, would you right, go with right, me? Right. Aside from being just absolutely gorgeous. You know, there's this outside impression now where automotives are actually transitioning to EVs. And for us, it was making a counter statement to the movement right now to say, no, we don't want to sacrifice the good looks. Right. And the platform actually gives us that flexibility. Now, again, this is obviously a high-end vehicle for intended for high net worth individuals, but you want to sell cars to lots of people. So is there another vehicle coming down the pike? Yes, yeah, so I think the uh, exciting times that we have is that we think in platforms. With a chassis platform, if it's done right, you actually can create bookends that might be very different of each other. This for us is a halo car. On the other side, there will be bookends, which is still appealing, which sure. has amazing proportions, but you now can buy way below of what we're offering currently. Got it. Right? And definitely below, below this. Cool. Well, thanks, Andre. That's the story here at Karma Automotive. And if you want more information, go to karmaautomotive.com. Thanks for watching.